and we've already said it, but I want to make sure our audience understands it. Tell everybody what wholetailing is versus wholesaling. Yes. Great point. So wholetailing is more or less where you're getting a property. It just needs some paint, some carpet. It doesn't need a full kitchen gut. Maybe you just repaint the cabinets. Maybe you put new cabinet pools on them, or maybe you put countertops on them. Bathrooms go where you're just, the tub's okay. Maybe uh, you just put a new toilet in or a new vanity or even e easier, sometimes just a new faucet on a sink. And then you're painting, carpeting. Usually you don't have to do roof, siding, windows, things like that. Um, so wholetailing is really, it's just been super profitable. It's uh, more so than a fix and flip, believe it or not, for us, when you look at it as from a, from a time standpoint, we're selling those so quickly as quickly as our, a full scale fix and flip, but we're putting so much effort in, less effort in, and our holding costs are so much lower. It's been worthwhile for us and less management of contractors, as you know, which can be one of the most difficult and taxing things in this business. Do you think that uh, wholetailing, in other words, not doing a full rehab, but, you know, just making it, you know, okay and nice, do you think the wholetailing is so much more popular now and working so well because there's just no inventory? That's it. You hit the nail on the head with that, Jay. We go back to 2009 when I was doing fix and flips. If I didn't do a full scale redo everything, you didn't have that many buyers interested in the property. Unless it was a first time home buyer. But as the market has gotten hotter and hotter and less and less inventory, people are being less picky, figuring they'll do some of the work themselves. So it's really just kind of taking what the market gives you. We follow in our business, we follow the keep it simple, stupid theory. And I think that's the best thing to do in any business. Whatever the market is giving you, take that, right? If, if you don't need to do the full scale rehab, don't, unless it's going to warrant you getting an additional 50, 60 grand where it becomes worthwhile. Just take what the market gives you.